Hi, I'm Tracy. And I'm Mark Jackson. And we're here today to help you choose the right espresso machine that fits your home and needs. I think one of my favorite calls is when somebody calls in and they say, I like to drink a certain drink, I lead a certain lifestyle, perhaps I entertain, I don't really want to do any work, I want to push a button, or I just really want to make a great espresso. Can you help me? And all of our sales experts here can work within your budget and they can help you find the right machine for what you're looking to do. Exactly. And there's so many different things to choose from. And one of the misconceptions is, you know, I want a machine that can make coffee. Well, they can make something similar to a coffee, but actually a little bit better. They can make a uh, cafe crema, which comes out of a super automatic, which is just like a fresh brewed cup of coffee. Or you can make an Americano using one of our espresso machines, which is espresso with hot water. And they're absolutely delicious. They are delicious. And we have quite a few different kinds of machines to choose from. We do. There's several different categories. We have what we call a semi-automatic machine, which you see right here. These utilize portafilter handles, and you can use a pre-ground coffee, or you can use a pod. We have a super automatic category, and these are simply put, you just add water, beans, you push a button, and you can create whatever type of drink you want. We have our prosumer category, which basically means you can brew and steam simultaneously. And last but not least, we have our single serves, and they utilize a pod or a capsule where the coffee is pre-ground and ready for you to go when you push the button. So let's take a look at the semi-automatic category and see if this is a machine that will fit into your household. Mark, if you want to start brewing, what we'd like to do is show you exactly how these machines work and what you would do in a typical situation in your home. So the first thing Mark's going to do is he's going to take his portafilter handle, and in this particular machine, it's a commercial-style portafilter handle. So it's called shaded brown. So you can get a machine to either have a commercial portafilter handle or a machine like a Seiko that has what they call a pressurized portafilter handle. So these work with either ground, pre-ground, or coffee pods. So you're going to see Mark does a little bit of tamping. He's going to get the portafilter inside the machine. And this machine just works with a simple on-off button that starts the water flow. I think one of the great things about the semi automatics is this is really made for people that, maybe one or two people, or anybody that just wants to brew straight espressos, and I'm going to show you how you can brew a shot of espresso. Let me just get my cup here. And these can make espressos all day long, and all of them you can brew with steam. Um, so I'm going to show you here how you can brew and steam milk. As you can see, you can extract a really excellent shot. A grind is very important with the commercial style port filter in order to get the right shot. It is exactly. So if you're considering this type of machine for your home, one of the things you want to consider is, am I going to have to get a good grinder with it? Am I going to use ground or am I just going to be using pods? So very important in this category. Now typically in this category you're going to find machines start around the $200 mark and they're going to go all the way up to about $600. There is one machine, the Gaja Baby Twin, which has two boilers that will allow you to brew and steam without having to get the boiler up to steam and pressure. So Mark, did you go ahead and push the steam I, button? Yep, I brewed my shot and I'm going to go ahead and get my steam. I'm going to hit my steam button. I'm going to give it about 30 seconds or so, 45 seconds right around there. And then I'm going to show you it's going to steam. So the one thing with these things is you can hand brew and steam at the same time with the Gaja Baby Twin. You can brew one right after another. Most of the machines are all going to be about the same. So there's going to be a button to go ahead and you can brew a shot. And then some of them even have programmable cup sizes like the Gaja Baby Twin. As you can see, there's our steam. And you get a lot of steam out of these Yeah, I'm, I'm always a... impressed with the kind of milk based drinks that you can make with a semi automatic machine. So it's very, I mean, it's very quick how this works. And a Panarello one's great. Gives you a nice amount of foam here. And we do have videos you can watch more on each machine, particularly like the Gaja Classic. So I'm just going to go ahead and get up the steam. Now, one thing you do have to keep in mind is after you steam, if you want to make another shot, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get it down to brew temperature in order to create another shot. Of course, you need to wipe this down. Did a very good job of wiping it down there quickly. Nice job, Mark. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to position this over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my steam wand. And I'm going to hit my brew button. I'll get a little picture here. And what I want to do is I'm going to hit my brew button. I'm just going to open up the steam wand. you can tell is what happens there is let me shut that up what happens basically is you're taking and you're activating the pump and then what's happening is the pump is taking replacing the steaming boiling hot water in the boiler and it's forcing the cooler water to go in the boiler 
out the steam one, and then what that does, it cools down your boiler so that you can brew another shot. It actually works pretty well. It but there's little tricks well. with everything here is what we're trying to show you. So again, in this particular category, one of the things you need to consider is how many people are you going to be making cappuccinos and milk-based drinks. If you're just using a machine just strictly for making espresso, at the $200 mark, you can make espresso all day long in really good quality espresso. If you're looking to make a lot of drinks that are going to be milk-based and so forth, it is important to understand that they are single boiler machines with the exception of the Gaja Baby Twins, so you'll have to go through what Mark did as far as cooling down that boiler. And you can also make Americanos with these machines as well. Yeah. So there's our look at the semi-automatic machine. So let's take a closer look at the prosumer machines. We've already done the semi-automatics, but there's a lot of different things you get when you get up into the prosumer level. Now these typically will start around a $900 price point, go all the way up to about $7,500, but there's a lot more functionality you get. Typically you get two boilers and the ability to brew and steam simultaneously. Well, we do have machines that do have two boilers, but we also we have many different kinds. We have what's called a heat exchange machine. Now, a heat exchange machine gives you the ability to brew and steam at the same time. And what that basically means is there is a method where the, a tube basically goes through the boiler and it's going to heat your espresso water as opposed to a double boiler machine. With these machines, too, we have a lot of great options. We have programmable cup sizes in some. We also have the ability to plumb these in or add a drain line, which is a great feature, especially if you live in a area where there may be hard water, you can add a water filtration system to it and have a drain line. And we have tank versions which are pour over. So we have a lot of different machines. The most important thing with these machines is really the ability to brew and steam at the same time. You can the, entertain all day long. I love entertaining I'm with these very machines. Big fan of this. Now, and the other thing with some of the machines, the double boiler, we have a machine like the Exobar Brutus, and we can move in here, which has a PID controller. And what that does is that gives you absolute temperature stability while you're brewing your espresso, which is a great thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and brew a shot with one of my favorite machines, the Brutus. So I'm going to go over here. Obviously, with the prosumer machines, I think the grinder is every bit as important the machine. Today we're using one of our great Chiato grinders. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to load up my porta filter. Actually, I need to grind a little bit more coffee, sorry. It actually is a lot of fun to use these machines. These are probably a reason we call them prosumer machines. They're most like our professional machines. So I'm going to get that ready to go. I got my shot glass ready to go. I'm going to start brewing a shot here. And I'm going to purge my steam wine like you do with any of the machines. And we're going to get them both going at the same time, which is actually kind of cool. So I'm going to lift my lever to start my shot. And then I'm going to start steaming milk. And that's really the great thing about these machines is being able to brew and steam at the same time. I just want to give you, show you a quick thing how it's done. So I'm just going to go ahead and going to stop my shot and turn off my melt. The nice thing is I could go and repeat that process or if I had a lot of different guests, I could go ahead, brew another shot and steam a bigger pitcher of milk. I have the ability to do that with these machines. And these are becoming so much more popular, too, because a lot of people know that they can make good quality drinks at their house. They enjoy learning the perfection of making a great espresso and the temperature and the stability and everything. So this may be the one that fits your home. The one comment I get when people call in and they say, I want to be able to make a better drink than I can get about any place else. And strangely enough, a lot of people that have had the machines for a while, when they call back and tell us how much they like them, that's one of the things they say is, like, I am making the best drinks I ever had. Next, we're going to go over the Super Max, and the key thing to remember about a Super Max is they're all going to grind, they're all going to tamp, and they're all going to brew a shot for you. They'll also make a Cafe Crema, which is a delicious fresh brewed cup of coffee, and then they'll all steam milk, uh, and they have quite a few different ways that they can steam milk. And Mark, you know, there's a lot of different machines in this category. They can start anywhere from $500 all the way up to $3,600. And each one's a little unique in how it delivers the coffee and how you can do things with the milk. So if you look back here, the first thing you'll notice is they come in all different sizes and shapes. So one of the things you want to do is look at your kitchen, look at the setup, and what makes sense as far as counter space is enough room under the counter to fit the machine. They all have water reservoirs, and they're located in different parts of the machine. On this particular machine, you'll notice it's located on the top, and I can either pull it out or bring a water 
bring something over and fill it. You notice on this smaller machine, this is a nice small silhouette, it pulls from the front of the machine. So again, it just depends on what you're looking at for kitchen space and so forth. So to kind of show you how this works, Mark, you want to go ahead and just push the cappuccino button over there. Mark's going to press the button on one of our um, automatic machines. That can actually well, this is a one-step a one -step machine, so it makes a drink for you from start to finish without you moving the cup, which is a great feature. And there, there's some other features, too, that machines have, such as a bypass door, so maybe we should show them that one of the other machines. Where you can get a pre-ground coffee. Now, if we look back here, too, we can see that a lot of the machines have different ways of being able to do milk. On this machine, it has an actual frothing wand, or it can use a milk island. This machine, as you saw, is a one-touch, so it has a milk container. And this and a steam wand, which you can get hot water out of, or froth milk traditionally, if you choose. This has a steam arm, and these two machines have a steam arm. Another unique feature is the fact that you can move the spout to accommodate different sized cups. So by pushing this down, you can do an espresso. Pushing up, you can fill a larger one. And looks very similar on the Zero machine and also on the Gaja Zero. Okay? They do have the ability to have their bean hoppers with pre-set grinder settings in the back. You'll notice this one here. You've got a couple of different grinder settings you can do. You change the grinder settings when the machine is actually on. Again, it's starting... Well, the nice thing about all the Super R Max is you can always adjust the grind and you can always adjust the volume or the amount of coffee that you brew. Exactly. What I like about them is there's so many different options to choose from. Some may have like an automatic turn on or an automatic turn off. Some go into energy saving mode. Some have fully programmable sizes. Some you can actually change the sizes of the drinks on the fly the language in which you do them, which is really nice too. So, so much functionality and easy to take care of, Mark, because you can have things such as water filters that you can put in the water tank. They have the scaling functions that you can do. So it's really a unique machine to have in your house because it not only makes coffee, it's easy to keep clean, you can pre-program them, and they really do make a nice centerpiece on your counter. They're a great machine to own. They're a lot of fun. And they're easy, very easy to use. Another category of machines is what we call our single-serve espresso. And what these are really, Mark, is just simplicity. There's no mess, there's no fuss. There's several different machines in this category, two of the most popular being the Nespresso and the Gaja for Illy machine. Now, these work with individual capsules that are pre-measured that deliver the exact amount of coffee and water to create the best cup of espresso. So, for instance, the Gaja for Illy uses an Eper espresso capsule which you'll see right here, so it's pre-measured, everything is done for you. This actually fits in the Gaja for Illy machine and also fits in the Francis Francis machine. The Nespresso units use their own Nespresso capsule, which is a completely separate unit. So I'm just going to place it inside the machine. I'm going to close the cup, and then I have a cup button. I'm just going to push that, and it's immediately going to start to brew. I think one of the great things about these machines, everybody talks, they're convenient. So if you don't want to make a mess in your kitchen, you want a great espresso that's easy, the Illy product obviously is a great name. It makes a great espresso. They're also, they give you the ability to steam with the machines. They have steam wands on them. And as you can see, it just makes a really good espresso quickly, painlessly, and with no mess. Exactly. And if you want to be able to make milk baked drinks, like Mark said, you have a frothy wand on the side. With an espresso machine, you can actually buy a package that has an arrochino that does a frothing for you, or you can purchase it as a standalone unit that plugs in, and you can make your froth here. Now, afterwards, when I'm done, I can simply pull out the drawer. You'll see all my spent capsules are captured there. Take it over to my garbage and throw it out. So again, no fuss, no mess, and a perfect shot of espresso every single time. So. A single-service espresso may be just a perfect machine for your house. We understand that choosing the right machine for your home can be a difficult task with so many different choices and so forth, but our main goal is to fit you with a machine that best fits your personal needs and regular habits. So give us a call. Our phone number is 1-888-411-5282. Press 1 for sales. The best thing that we can tell you is that our experts here will make sure that you get the right machine that fits your budgets and your needs. Happy brewing.